I've been an electromechanical engineer for over 20 years and I've worked in all the main industries of controls and automation. So that being smart home, commercial BMS and industrial controls. And in my time, I've designed and built quite a few control systems. This one that you see behind me being one of them. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way that I found to wire terminal blocks within control panels. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so onto the terminal block wiring now. And you can see basically what I do is I just work my way up um, from one end to the other, um, depending on what side the, the terminal blocks are on. And yeah, just basically go one through to whatever the, the final block is and add in the cables. And what I try and do is, unless they're already connected like they are here in the MCBs, the bottom of the MCB, Bs where you can see they have to go back up this way up here I'll just cut the length of cables that are roughly going to where they need to go so as you can see here with the uh, 0 to 10 volt control signals that are going to the relays I'm just cutting the lengths I think there's four cables there cutting the lengths putting them in here keeping them secured with these either use the the fingers of the finger trunk in or I'm just using self tapping screws here and yeah just you can see they're all swooping along and then going to where they need to to go uh, and these will be terminated into the relays here so here you can see that they've now been terminated and yeah I basically just do that all the way along for each terminal block there's another image you can see with these MCB ones they're just going up and wrapping around here to each terminal block um, I did run out of terminals on this neutral bar to feed um, outgoing pumps and what have you so I did have to add my own little Wago buzz bar here uh, thing to be aware of is just to make sure that the, the cable that's taking all of these neutrals so these these neutrals are obviously coming from the terminal block going in here being distributed on this buzz bar and then coming back to the main neutral terminal bar so what you need to make sure of is that this cable here, this single cable, or maybe you're using a couple of cables, but whatever it is, that's got enough current carrying capacity for the additional um, circuits that you're adding adding on here. It's something to be aware of. Then I'm just doing the out puts on the outbound side of the overloads of these contactors and they're, they're going up to the terminal blocks too so actually I'm coming down this way and then in and you can see that's it pretty much finished on the power side so I've got it split so power side and then BMS control side you can see they all overlay each other so when it comes to servicing it makes it very easy just to follow mostly where these cables are going the, the MCBs are a little bit different they're going underneath these cables but the majority of them they're very easy to trace and find out where they're going and yeah now it's basically exactly the same on the BMS side uh, some close-ups of the power side you can see how they're all swooping along easy to trace out and then yeah exactly the same on the BMS side uh, these are very short runs so yeah I just cut all these cables roughly to, to length. I usually go from the furthest point here to the furthest point over here, and then I'll just cut all those cables the same length, put the idents on them and ferrule them, and away we go, basically. And then you go the accepted circuits, they're going off here to relays, relay control. And yeah, that's basically it, guys, for the, the terminal blocks. 